Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to look at the brand new Raspberry Pi 3, including comparing it with the Raspberry Pi 2 and running some performance tests. So here it is, the uh, Raspberry Pi 3, the first 64-bit computer from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Now, 64-bit does mean more power, but it doesn't mean here a lack of compatibility. So all existing Raspberry Pi hardware and peripherals and programs and projects will all work just fine on the Raspberry Pi 3. And belaying this compatibility, the board layout is fairly familiar. We've got on this edge the four USB 2 ports and our 100 megabit Ethernet. And then we've got our 3.5 millimeter socket for composite video and audio. We've still got in the same place a camera connector. We've still got a full-size HDMI connector for connecting a monitor and a micro USB 2 for connector for connecting power. Moving around, there is still a display connector here and 40 GPIO pins are on this edge for connecting all kinds of exciting external things for robotics, Internet of Things and, and things like that. We've also, of course, got a processor, more technically a system on a chip here, which is our BCM2837. This contains a 1.2 gigahertz 64-bit quad-core ARM processor. Specifically, the Cortex-A53 is the CPU on this Raspberry Pi 3. Inside the system on the chip, we also have our video core GPU, the same as on previous Pis. Some people might have liked a more powerful GPU, but I guess it's about compatibility. Now, also here on the top, you can see this tiny part. This is an antenna, a radio antenna, because on the Pi 3, we have onboard Wi-Fi and onboard Bluetooth. And if we flip the Pi over, there you, are, you can see somewhere on, on the back here, we have next to our SD card socket, our micro SD card socket, there is a very shiny little chip, if I can make it glint there, it is a very shiny little chip. This chip is the radio chip, giving us that onboard Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And finally, sort of finishing things off on the back, we also have our chip for our one gigabyte of RAM. So there we are, that's a basic overview of the hardware on the Raspberry Pi 3. Right, having given you a basic hardware overview of the new Pi 3, I thought we should compare it briefly to the Pi 2. And I'm sure the first thing you notice is they're very, very, very similar. The board layout is extremely similar, except for the fact we've got the uh, Wi-Fi antenna here on the uh, Pi 3. We've also got white little covers, little bits that raise up to uh, allow us to fit a camera or a display connector, which makes things slightly easier to see. It just makes it slightly different. You can always recognize your Pi 3 from the white plastic on these connectors. We've also got, of course, different processors. They look the same, but on the Pi 3, we've got the BCM2837 system on a chip, 1.2 gigahertz processor, quad core. Meanwhile, on the Pi 3, Two, we have the BCM2836 900 megahertz quad-core processor. And of course, this one is 64-bit, if currently running in Raspbian in 32-bit mode, and this one is 32-bit. So really, as you can see, these are the most compatible they possibly could be, absolutely the same form factor. And just to prove that, if I take away the Pi 2 here to just leave the Pi 3, here is the case I've been having my Pi to in in recent videos and in theory haven't tried this yet so I should have tried this off camera first shouldn't I really but no 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 this makes life far too easy I'll do it on camera first in theory this will fit into exactly the same case this is quite a snug fit I always have difficulty actually figuring out how it goes in but when it goes in it goes in beautifully well there we are that's how it does it you didn't think that was going in did you neither did I you put that in there and then we have this little thing here which covers the card slot on the end, that goes down there, and then hopefully the top of the case will drop on the top of the case, and we'll click in perfectly well. So that's, that's very good. There's our new Pi 3 in a case purchased for a, a Pi 2. So I now need to put some uh, screws into this case in the little holes on the bottom, and then we'll test this thing out and actually get the Pi 3 running. Right, with my uh, Pi 3 all connected up and with Raspbian installed, I thought I'd run a range of comparative speed tests comparing the Pi 3 to the Pi 2. So to start with, I thought we'd do a, a boot test. 
and there they go. And they're now booting up, both booting from the same SD card, a nice faster SanDisk card, and uh, keeping pretty much in line with each other, I think. I wouldn't expect a massive difference here. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? There wasn't much difference, was there? They both booted in pretty much the same time. What, 16.8 versus 16.1 seconds, a 0.7 second difference in the boot up time. So the Pi 3 booting about 4% just over faster. So that's not a significant difference. Moving on, for my second test, I thought we'd see how rapidly a Pi 3 can launch a large program compared to a Pi 2. So specifically here, I'm going to launch LibreOffice Writer. I've dropped the icon onto the desktop on, on both Pis here, both installed with the same version of Raspbian. And so we'll zoom down our Pi 3 screen so we can see both together and start the test. And they're going along and not a lot of, oh yes, Pi 3 is going to win. Not by a massive amount. What have we got? 8.1 seconds on the Pi 2 to launch LibreOffice Writer versus 6.2 on the Pi 3. So initially that doesn't seem very much, but if you do the math, that's about a 30% increase in speed in running a program on the Pi 3 compared to the Pi 2. Right, for my final test, I thought I'd try and find something that purely tests processor power, so not dependent on speed in memory card or anything else like that. So what I've done is I've installed GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program on both the Pi 3 and the Pi 2, and I've loaded it up with this 3000 by 2000 pixel, about 6 megapixel image of my lovely face printer graphic. And what I'm going to do is to go into Filters, Edge Detect, and Neon, and I'm going to apply the Neon filter with the default settings. And so we'll see how rapidly that can be done on the Pi 3 versus the Pi 2. So once again, we'll zoom things down and uh, start the test. And off they go. As you can see, already the Pi 3 significantly quicker. Its progress bar really getting through it much faster than the Pi 2. And it's almost finished. There's a bit of work on the end. There it is finished. 11.7 seconds on the Pi 3 and the Pi 2 still going along. Pi 2 is not bad, but clearly it can't quite keep up. Over 20 seconds. And so there we are. The Pi 2, 21.6 seconds to apply the same filter that was applied in 11.7 seconds on the Pi 3. And uh, my math tells me that means the Pi 3 here was about 85% faster. So clearly, if you're doing processor intensive activities, there's a very big advantage to having a Pi 3. Last month, I spent a whole week using my Raspberry Pi 2 as my only computer. Now, as you may remember from my video diary, that worked very well indeed, but it would have worked even better with a Pi 3. Indeed, as we've just seen in the speed tests for processing intensive things like, say, photo editing, the Pi 3 has a very significant performance improvement over the Pi 2. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.